Chaucer is having fun. The kind of clever fun that requires a special relationship with his readers, where all kinds of things are recognised and shared, but never actually said. Imagine you didn't know that the Canterbury Tales was going to be about pilgrims. When April, with his sweet showers, wakes up the world, and the tender plants start to grow, and the birds start to sing, then people like to what? Well, I think we can imagine. Thirty people get together at the Tabard Inn in Southwark, just south of the city of London. In the city, all kinds of entertainment were prohibited. In Southwark, they weren't. It was a place where pilgrims stayed because it was on the road to Canterbury. But it was also a kind of red light district. Then Chaucer starts to describe his folk. What matters is the way they dress, their manners, how they talk, not sin and repentance and forgiveness. Chaucer is very enthusiastic. There's a young squire who loved so hot he slept no more than the nightingale. A pardoner who sells holy relics that are really old pig's bones. But he is still a fine ecclesiast. A court official who'll lend you his girlfriend in return for a bottle of wine. And you've seen, in his description of the prioress, how she's more worried about her posh clothes and society manners than prayer or confession. So we slowly realise that the man talking, the narrator, can't really be Chaucer himself, but another character, someone we learn about from the ingenuous way he describes the others. I'm not that smart, he confesses at one point. So, is Chaucer actually being severe and condemning all these people for their behaviour, and his narrator too for not understanding? It doesn't feel like that, does it? It feels like we're having a pretty good time recognising all these foibles, savouring all the energy that people put into showing off and cheating each other. As if this too was part of the richness of life. A last thing. Remember that the passages in your book are a modern translation. Chaucer's English is more difficult, but also more rhythmic and amusing. If you want to have some more fun, find a reading of the original on YouTube and listen to the passages you already know. They really come alive.